Well, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos of information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. I want to focus on a very key concept concerning Truva and the verse in Hosea, chapter 14, verse 2. Return, O Israel, to Hashem your God. The idea of Truva, of returning. Um, the Talmud. In Masechta Yuma, the, the, uh, page 86a, our sages state that tshuva, return, turning ourselves completely to, to God, is so powerful and so far-reaching um, that it can boost an individual to the heights of the, the heavenly throne itself. It says, return Israel to Hashem, your God. That lifts you basically as high as God, to that height. Um, the height one can achieve through proper tshuva is a height that not even the greatest sages and scholars can reach on their own. And part of it is because as much as a person will study and learn and get into the depths and aspects and facets uh, of the Torah, it's not the same as the heights achieved by Tshuva. It was uh, Rav Chaim Shmulevitz says that even uh, a tzaddik gamor, even a complete righteous individual, can't necessarily attain um, those heights, um, that spiritual distinction of being approaching the throne uh, of our God. He attributes the success of a Balchova, someone who masters the return, who completely uh, turns to, to God. Um, he attributes to that, that success to the fact that God himself helps the Balchuva return. It helps the penitent return. He has a hand in it. Um, he reaches down, as it were, from the heavens. He reaches down from, uh, from above. And basically, when it comes right down to it, isn't that what Chuva is all about? We ask God to help us return. We ask God to draw us uh, near to him. That individual, the person who does that, attains a, a, a spiritual heights that somebody who works at it through study and mitzvahs and things like that, um, he, can't, uh, he can't do it on himself now without uh, divine assistance. So there is a saying that um, that at the place where the Belchuva stands, a tzaddik cannot stand. Um, there are, I have heard righteous people whom I respect talk about converts and Balichuva. Now these are people who've been from their entire lives. They know nothing else. They're only orthodox. They've only kept kosher their whole lives. They've, they've kept um, Shabbos their whole life. And they'll, and they'll say, I, what I wouldn't give to stand where that person stands, to come back to God. I started off close to God in terms of observance and, uh, and learning and stuff like that. I didn't have to stumble around in the darkness and find my way back to God. They, and they, they ad admire a Balchova. They admire the Balchova. They admire the Gerim. They admire the converts. They admire B'nai Noach, uh, who've turned their lives around and accepted God and drawn themselves closer to God and asked God to draw them close. Those of you who've done this, those of you who, who converted or are in the process of converting, 
those of you who are Bali Chuva and you're really genuinely starting to turn yourself around and become more observant and take uh, your religious life more seriously, B'nai Noach, God love you, B'nai Noach. You're coming to God. You are reaching a level that our biggest gadolim, our greatest people, can't achieve. You're doing something that they can't. Um, realize that. Sometimes you feel, oh man, all these, these holy righteous people, there's no way I can be on their level. And in a way you're right. You can't be at their level. They can't be at your level. Um, keep that in mind. You are doing things that they can never do. Someone who loves uh, uh, crab and shrimp and lobster and gives it up because he wants to become kosher to a person who's been from their all uh, for observant and, and orthodox their whole lives, it would never occur to them to eat a lobster. But someone who gives up shrimp and, and oysters and stuff like that, things that he loves because you know, God said no. Bacon double cheeseburgers, they're not gross, they're delicious. Millions and millions of people order them every day. It's fantastic, one of my favorite foods, but says the Balchova, but says the convert, I choose not to do this. I, despite it's the fact that it's very delicious, I choose not to do this because this is what God expects of me, and this is now what I expect of myself. A person who's always kept kosher does not know what that does not know what that's like. They don't know. They've never had to give up. You can't give up what you've never had. Someone says, "Oh, Italian food, prosciutto, uh, capocollo, salami, Genoa." A person who's been kosher all his life, he doesn't know what it's like to give that up. He's he's, he's never had it. Those of us who have come out of that foreign culture and are now embracing an observant culture, we know. We know. And keep that in mind next time uh, uh, you think you're not good enough. Because I promise you, if you do tshuva, if you draw yourself close to God, if you become a better person because of your desire to come close to God, and if God draws you close to him, you're, you're anything but inferior, you're superior. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until then, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.